this video, we're going to show you the OpenBridge Designer workflow, especially using RMBridge. So here we have OpenBridge Designer, in which I will create a new file. Just bear with me on how we're going to do this. So let's uh, save the file into a proper location. Um, let's call it that location. Let's call it demo. So. OpenBridge Designer now creates an OBDX file. What is this OBDX file? This OBDX file allows me to store all the information related to one bridge or multiple bridges if I need to. And at the same time, it recognizes two workflow. Is my project requires a BIM workflow, meaning that the physical model controls uh, everything, not only the model itself, but as well the analytical model as well or I want to design using the standalone workflow in which maybe my project doesn't require uh, a physical model, just I need to perform the structural calculations or I want to have a more uh, flexible control of the information that I generate in the 3D model, the physical model, and as well as the analytical one. So it's up to you to design what is the workflow more convenient to your practice. Saying that, I will just show you first the standalone workflow. So I will create a project here, and I'm gonna call it bridge01 for that. And this bridge01 is going to manage a DGN file, right? In which I will create using OpenBridge Modeler my physical model, or maybe I don't need a physical model because this is just a purely a structural project. So I don't need to open OpenBridge Designer but jump directly to the analytical part and create an analytical model. So Libridge Steel is still there, Libridge Concrete is still there, but the most important for our RM users, RM Bridge is there. You may question what version is that? Remember, we used to have RM Bridge, RM Bridge Advance, and RM Bridge Enterprise. Well, we have consolidated all of these, and now we only have one version of RM Bridge, that is RM Bridge Enterprise. So yes, all the capabilities of RM Bridge Enterprise, so all the type of analysis, time history, rolling stock, um, pushover, wind, advanced wind, adcon, all that options are now into one product that is called now RM Bridge. As I said, and let me repeat it, it's just all the capabilities of RM Bridge Enterprise are here now just is called RM Bridge. So let's see, let's use the traditional way. So you can just go and launch RM Bridge. So in that project, RM Bridge will be the one. And it's the RM Bridge Enterprise that you know. So on this, still, you can work the same, the traditional way. You can just as well import. Uh, a TCL file, an old TCL file you may have on a project, you can also do it, change your project directory. So all these options are available to you. We'll just launch an example as we have it here, right? So um, just create it and now you are ready to start your bridge project. Got the bridge project right here, or you can just load a many examples that we have. Again, you can bring any TCL file that you already have. So for example, let's bring a old TCL file and we'll replace this project. So I can just read the TCL project data and create a new project actually. I can do that. Initialize the database. Now, as I save this file, right? now I can save it now. So I can just export to the TCL or now again, now with the new format, the OBDX file saves the contents of the RM Bridge project. So next time I need to just load it, I just can go and one more time launch RM Bridge right here. Now, what is the other option? 
the you know, as we call the BIM workflow here. So then, yes, on that I will create another project. And then on the project, I can just create a new DGN file using OpenBridge Modeler or just load an existing one that maybe I have already created. In this file, I just take full advantage of the geometry using open rows technology and I fully created a segmental bridge here uh, using OBM tools. Right? So now how it connects this to RM? So I will just say that I just need to connect this to RM bridge. So that physical model, this Bing model, will be sent to RM bridge. It will create the model in RM bridge. So there is no need to remodel the project. I just can adjust certain parameters here if I need to. For example, like applying a fixed support, right? And then just say connected to RM. So now the same RM that we know, RM Bridge Enterprise, one more time, but now instead of doing the modeling in RM that I use, that I maybe need to do it using, I would say, the traditional way, I can create a BIM model here using OBM tools, and that BIM model will be transformed to an analytical model in RM Bridge and just use RM Bridge for my purely analytical needs. The model is still there, the model is still valid, you can modify the model, adjust the tables and all of that, but the best way is always to have, again, the single source of truth as the model in OpenBridge model. The Bing model is the one that should control the geometry of your project, and OpenBridge will be just the analytical engine for that, and that's what at this time the software is assembling that. As we connect to RM Bridge, that physical model that we are transferring here, it does automatically a structural check and runs the entire project, right? And then later it will be up to the designer to add proper construction stages, uh, apply all the different loadings. So we just give you all the geometry with all the materials already defined in uh, the physical model in OpenBridge Modeler. As well, you can also change it here uh, to a different material and try different configurations too. Right, so then one more time, view options, and then it's, now you have from the physical model, now you have an analytical model in RM ready to perform all what you need to do. Right, so low combinations, apply different standards, like Astro standards and so on and so forth. So now it is just your task to define all the different low cases and everything else ready to perform a pure structural calculation using RM Bridge Enterprise. So the software is still there. It has not been discontinued at all. On the other hand, I would say it has been enhanced, allowing users to decide how to use RM. Use RM as a standalone a structural product or use RM as a connection to analyzing a BIM model created with OpenBridge and being able to analyze it, the same exact model in RM without the need to remodel the bridge for analytical purposes.